I'm doing some garden bread prep today at the end of January of all times. It's just warm enough that the soil is workable this afternoon and I want to plant direct sow my onions. I probably won't get them in today but hopefully within the next couple of days while the weather is still semi-warm. And then we're supposed to get another big cold snap. So my thought is that they will sprout naturally just when the weather temperatures are right. And I'm gonna cover them with a row cover just in case, but onions are pretty frost hardy. So hopefully this works out. Last year I felt like I planted a little bit late. It was right at the middle of March. And this year I'm hoping that I can get them in the ground. The beginning of February is the plan. So hopefully this works. We got some fruit and nut trees in the mail and we are over at our orchard digging holes today for them. It's a really nice day for the beginning of February. We're expecting five to eight inches of snow in just a couple of days. So we've got to get this done today. And I'm chatting and Cruz is doing all the work back there. <laughs> Should be another. Oh, this is the persimmon. This is a mulberry, Illinois everbearing. So this is a persimmon, early um, geo. The last couple that I have are a Hall's Hardy almond tree, and then an all-in-one almond. And I have no idea if these are actually going to produce here. They're, we're in the right zone for them. However, I just don't know if it's a tree that has problems with the disease or if they bloom really early and then we'll get frost that kill them. I just haven't heard of very many people growing almonds here in Arkansas. So this one's kind of a toss up, but I figure it's worth a shot. Let's see how they go. Soil level should be right about there. Okay, okay can you kind of scoop stuff in? I'll just take it. Or do you want to hold it and I'll scoop stuff in? I'll scoop it in. You'll scoop it in? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll just put these upside down so they don't reroot. together without screws that's yeah cool. that's standing seam I didn't know that that's how it works baby cool but on the end I do need like you need a, screws on a the couple end screws there yeah but yeah everywhere else and that's where trim, that's where trim would come into play but from the ground you won't you'll never see it so <laughs> 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 Am I getting you? Good. Yay! Yay!
Yeah, we'll pour it in a couple spots. Here, I'll just get it around the plants, I guess, first. This might be wide enough to do both rows. Well, then we'll roll it on sure here yet. and then we'll like fold it in half. Yeah, and this that one way can stay exposed right now. Plant that and then we can just kind of parlay it over there. <laughs> yeah. I saw a couple seeds dropping, but. Yeah. Yeah, as far as like the and all that. Here, let's get, lay it down. Let's get a sandbag on the end. Okay. Because then we'll have something that will act as like another arm to hold us. Yeah. No, Come on, baby, catch up to me. Okay, here you go. Well, you were doing yeah. it all by yourself. Fine. So. I was waiting so long for you. You just you go just... for it. <laughs> I love you. You make me happy. I love the life that we're living. So in the back of my caterpillar tunnel, I started seeds here last year and part of that I had like a table set out and all of my seedlings on top of that. But the problem was that a bunch of weeds grew in underneath and it was just a mess. So this year what I'm doing is I'm going to put some landscape fabric down, which I absolutely despise. <laughs> plastic for long-term use but I feel like in this case because it's not going around my plants it's fine because it's just keeping weeds from growing up where my germination area is gonna be so that's the plan
did we do it before? Was it finishing school or good behavior? Over the last few days, we had a really bad ice storm and everything is just covered in a sheet of ice. But I'm gonna see if I can get some carrots for dinner. I'm making a pot roast and I really want carrots in it. So they, I store my carrots in my garden, which is difficult to get to right now, but we'll see. I got one carrot and my carrots now are getting kind of sparse so it's hard to tell exactly where they are and I'm not going to dig up my whole garden today. <laughs> that was a good experiment. Here, I'll come over there. Come back like that. Okay. Yep. yep. It's like we're working on finishing the scissor doors for the caterpillar tunnel. A month ago we did one side and then it got cold and we got busy. And so today we're gonna finish the other side so that I can start my seeds in here and not have to worry about it blowing all over the place because it was just loose plastic before. Slide it down a little bit. About right there, I guess. Okay, is that cool enough? Yep. Yep, take. So, Noel, you push on that side because he is pushing on this side too. But you're, yeah, have you done this before? No. Okay, we'll, we'll get this one started. Okay. We'll, we'll get this started for you. Okay, good. Okay, now climb up a little bit more. Get that. I'll hold. Now when we have food in the winter, you can say, I did that. <laughs> 